so this is our second question this is a uh, single entity fs preparation question and there are lots of adjustments which we have to make but whatever adjustments we have to make will be mentioned in the question only if the question asks us to do any adjustments in the sopl and sof and sofp only in such a situation we are required to do any adjustments so timer again i am going to put a 40 minute timer let us see whether we can do this in 40 minutes so requirement a i am reading after making adjustments to the financial statements of archway company which you think may be appropriate for comparability purpose so you'll have to make certain adjustments and then you will have to restate you'll have to again calculate which all figures you'll have to again calculate revenue cost of sales finance cost equity and non current liability these things you'll have to recalculate so requirement a is to restate after some adjustments and uh, the things which you are going to calculate uh, recalculate is first one revenue uh, second one cost of sales and from revenue if you are removing cost of sales you will get gross profit looking at this sideways sopl i'm just filling some figures here from revenue if you are removing cost of sales you will get gross profit uh, distribution cost admin expense and i guess they are also asking us to restate the finance cost we will get pbt right then tax expense i guess these things are not asked uh, to restate so i'll just put it out until pbt until pbt and again they had asked us to restate the equity and non current liability fourth thing which we are going to restate is equity and the fifth thing which we are going to restate is the non current liability so we'll have to read the question uh, before any restatements are done so that is the first question and what about the second question recalculate the comparable sector average ratios of archway so maybe the archway company's ratios were already calculated and we are asked to recalculate it on the basis of the restated figures given in question a above the so 11 marks is for calculation only 9 marks is for the interpretation part here so you lucky right you lucky so let us read the question landing company is considering the acquisition of arcway a retail company so arcway is a retail company so we are landing we are planning to acquire another company which is archway and the summarized sopl and sofp of the companies are given of the archway company is given so sopl is given sofp is given from the enquiries made landing company has obtained the following information archway company pays an annual license fee of 1 million to cardol company and this amount is included in the cost of sales for the right to package and sell some goods under a well known brand name owned by cardol company if archway is acquired this arrangement would be discontinued so no need to pay the annual license fee and landing company estimates that this would not affect the company's volume of sales but without the use of the brand name overall sales value should be 5% lower than the current amount okay so the revenue there, there will be a change in revenue figure the revenue figure now is 94000 and we are planning to give out a, uh, to remove a licensing or branding or something like that and if you are removing that we will be getting only the uh, 95% figure 5% of the sales will be lost the remaining 95% 89300 and regarding cost of sales the current cost of sales is 73000 and we need not pay that licensing fee of 1000 so the cost of sales figure will become 72000 the cost of sales figure will become 
सेकेंड पॉइंट आचवे कंपनी बाइस 50 परसेंट ऑफ इट्स परचेज फ्रॉम सेल ऑफ कार्डोल कंपनी सो 50 परसेंट ऑफ द सेल इज टेकन फ्रॉम कार्डोल कंपनी वन ऑफ लैंडिंग कंपनी इज राइवल्स सो कार्डोल इज अवर राइवल वी आर लैंडिंग वी आर प्लानिंग टू परचेज आर्चवे आर्चवे इज परचेजिंग 50 परसेंट ऑफ देयर परचेसेस फ्रॉम कार्डोल कंपनी and uh, they are of course our rivals cardol is our rivals so after we have purchased archway definitely so they are not uh, going to sell the goods to card uh, to archway or anything like that can happen and receives a bulk discount of 10% off on their normal selling price okay this discount would not be available if archway company is acquired by landing company so uh, as of now after what is the total cost of sales the total cost of sales is 72000 right out of which half is purchased from is purchased from cardot so if landing is purchasing archway and and as of now out of this total half we are getting a 10% discount right they are getting a 10% discount we are getting a 10% discount okay so what is the discount they are getting into 10 divided by 90 because that figure of 3000 36000 is already in already a discounted figure it is already a discounted figure so the discount we are getting the discount archway which is archway is getting now is 4000 i'll tell you again the cost of sales of archway is 72000 72000 okay Out of which half is purchased from Cardol, and Cardol is giving a discount of ten percent. So let us see how much is a discount. Now this thirty-six thousand is now a discount figure. It is expressed in ninety percent. So into ten divided by ninety. So the discount which Archway gets because they are purchasing from Cardol is four thousand. But once we landing is purchasing Archway, Archway won't be getting that discount. So that discount of four thousand won't be available. It will increase our cost of sales. So our actual cost of sales will be seventy-six thousand. So the gross profit will be eighty-nine thousand three hundred minus seventy-six thousand thirteen thousand three hundred. gross profit will be 13300 then next thing the four person loan note has been classified as current liability due to their imminent redemption so there is a loan note here right it will be redeemed in the near future within 12 months that is why that amount is classified as current liability however as such they should not be treated as long term funding so however they will be replaced immediately after redemption by 8% loan note with the same nominal value and repayable in 10 years time which means that we will be having a new non current liability of 10000 and the interest rate will be 8% so the non the non current liability will be 8% loan note and the amount is 10000 which means that the finance cost will be 10000 into 8% that is 800 i guess there is no change in the distribution cost and admin expense distribution cost is uh, 4000 admin expense is 6000 so i'm just putting one more column pbit pbit will be Three thousand three hundred. Three thousand three hundred. So there is a new non-current liability coming. Then landing company has obtained. So the ratios are already calculated. The sector average is calculated. Archway company's existing ratio is also calculated. 
and in requirement b we are asked to we were asked to recalculate the archway companies ratios right recalculate the archway company ratios after the adjustments we are asked to calculate this we will do that definitely we will do that but before that i guess we need to do something more the equity balance also should be found out and in the question they are telling something equity assume that your adjustments to sopl will result in the retained earnings of 2300 at the year end so we know that in equity there will be share capital and retained earnings right the share capital there is no change share capital is 10000 and because of the adjustments the retained earnings won't be 8800 the retained earnings will be 2000 the retained earnings will be 2300 they are telling so it will be share capital 10000 plus retained earnings 2300 so that will be the total equity but again uh, in the last sentence they are telling something a note accompanying the sector average ratio is explained that it is the practice of sector to carry the properties at market value so sector are carrying the properties at market value and archway is not doing that now in requirement a, a requirement a it is clearly uh, clearly telling that you should be thinking about comparability can we compare the sector average ratios with that of Arcway now? No, because sector is doing revaluation, re Arcway is not doing revaluation. Re so in order to make it re uh, comparable, Archway should also revalue re their asset. And they are telling that the market value of Archway company's retail property is 3 million more than its carrying amount. Okay, so the uh, there is a revaluation re gain of 3000. There is a revaluation re gain of 3000. Which means that the total equity will be 15,300. The total equity will be 15,300. And one more sentence they are telling that. And gives 12,000 square meters of floor space. We need it maybe in some other requirement. The floor space is 12,000 square meters. So we had done all the adjustments which we are asked in option A. I am just looking at the time, okay, now 10 minutes has gone. Now it is B, recalculate the ratios using the information provided in question A. So which all are the ratios? I am going to draw a table for that. Okay ratios which all are the ratios annual sales per square meter then roce then net asset turnover then gp then op op is pbit Profit before interest and tax, okay. Then gearing, debt divided by equity. So, I will write archways here, archways adjusted we are going to calculate, archway uh, given it is already there and sector average is also given. Right? Sector average. Eight thousand eighteen percent two point seven times twenty two percent six point seven percent and thirty percent archways given ratios seven eight three three fifty eight point five percent five times 
11.7% and nil. Now we'll have to calculate annual sales per square meter adjusted ratios, right? Adjusted ratios of archway. Sales per square meter. I guess the square meter is 12,000 and the sales we had already adjusted. It is 89,300. 89,300 divided by 12,000. Okay. ROC is PBIT divided by capital employed, right? PBIT is uh, 3300 we had already calculated here 3300 divided by capital employed is debt plus equity uh, debt is debt is 10,000 plus equity is 15,300 into 100 as a turnover sales divided by again capital employed capital employed is 25300 gross profit ratio gross profit divided by sales gross profit is 13300 divided by sales is uh, 89300 into 100 operating profit is uh, pbit that is whatever profit we had calculated taken for roc right so pbit divided by sales into 100 gearing is debt divided by equity that is 10,000 divided by equity is 15,300 into 100 so all these figures you'll have to calculate and put 89,300 divided by 12,000 uh, into 100 maybe into 100 also into 100 Okay, so I guess this 89,300 is in three, uh, this 89,300 was expressed in thousands. So this 12,000 should also be expressed in th uh, thousands. Okay, that is, that is the reason. So 89,300 divided by 12, 7441, 7441, ROCE, <clears throat> divided by 25300 into 100 it is 13% 13 13% 13 let us turn over sales 89300 divided by 25300 is 3.53 times 3.53 times gp 13,300 divided by 89,300 into 100. It is 14.89 times, 14.89 percentage. OP is uh, 3,300 divided by 89,300 into 100. Uh, it is 3.7%, uh, 3.7%. Hearing is uh, debt. 10,000 divided by equity 15,300 into 100 it is 65% so these are the recalculated ratios right recalculated ratios so it is also done next is third requirement what is the third requirement comment on the performance and gearing of archway okay you should comment on both performance as well as gearing compared to the sector average and we should be comparing it with the sector average as a basis for advising landing company regarding the possible acquisition of archway so we are going to compare the given ratios with sector average as well as the adjusted ratios with the sector average and we should comment whether archway should be purchased or not that is the requirement see right uh, see is commenting on the performance and gearing of 
Ačiū. So, we are going to comment on the performance and gearing of Archway. So, as usual, we will start with a paragraph, right? We will tell that, uh, we will tell that landing company, we are just uh, starting with an introductory paragraph, right? Landing company is planning to acquire archway company whose given results when compared with the sector average gives a very promising performance review right see Archway's given ratios when compared to the sector average are high in almost all of the aspects. However, landing had adjusted <coughs> the results of Archway, Archway and uh, recalculated the ratios to find out the performance of archway if landing had acquired them so that is what we had done right and and uh, the adjusted results when compared to the sector average in one instance whenever we are looking uh, in the first uh, site we can see that it is not that good the adjusted results doesn't seems that good so we had put the introduction right now we are going to comment on the performance comment on the performance we are going to comment on the performance okay by looking at the ratios of course first we will compare the archway company's given ratios with the help of, uh, we will compare archway company's given ratios with that of the sector average we will write archway company's given ratios are very better than the sector average sector average ratios in all respects the roce roce of 58.5 percent is almost triple the sector average this may be because of a better performance in gross profit margin net profit margin and asset turnover which we can see while comparing the ratios all the component ratios of roce are performing good than the sector average right everything is good asset turnover is good gp is good operating profit margin is good everything is good right everything is good so that's the thing which we had compared initially we had compared the uh, archway company's given ratios with that of the sector average and told that the performance is good then we will compare the adjusted ratios with the sector average however after 
calculating the adjusted ratios and comparing it with the sector average it gives a contrasting result and uh, always remember this question is for 9 marks so don't overwrite tall depends upon the time okay so don't overwrite i'm just trying to make this answer perfect but in exam don't overwrite write by looking at the time and marks contrasting result Contradicting result, contradicting result, yeah. ROC at 13% is lower than the sector average of 18%. Spelling mistakes, you need not worry, you need not bother. ROC of archway at 13% is lower than the sector average of 18 percent and what is the reason this reduction is because of a reduction in sales and uh, increase in cost as well as an increase in net assets due to the uh, due to why is increasing why is net assets increasing because the debt has been classified as equity because the uh, current liability is classified as non current liability due to the reclassification of loan note from current liability to non current liability okay okay then let us comment about each of the ratios gp is low when compared to the sector average and you, you know the reason right gp is low when compared to the sector average because archway is losing some sales because of that first point because uh, because of losing the uh, branding arrangement with cardol also the cost of purchase is also increasing by 10 percent because of the lack of discount available from cardol once landing had acquired archway so that is the reason of gp that is the reason of gp to get low and let us look about uh, let us look about np np is also very low right np is also very low the net profit is also very low which can be caused by a reduction in GP I'm just looking at the time it's only 10 minutes spending I have to write more right NP is also very low which can be caused by a reduction in GP or because of an increase in indirect expense now let us look at the indirect expense of archway and sector uh, sectors in that expense is GP minus NP 15.3 15.3 archways in that expense is 14.89 minus 3.7 is only 11.2 right so it is low archways in direct expense at 11.2 percent and it is calculated as uh, GP 14.89 minus 3.7 14.89 minus 3.7 is lower than the sector average sector average not we are not going to write it again sector average we know okay came back 
lower than the sector average indicating archway is able to control their indirect expense indirect expense indirect expense so we talked about np also then we are going to talk about the uh, asset turnover ratio the asset turnover ratio is still higher than the sector average right the asset turnover ratio is still higher than the sector average even after the 5% reduction in sales indicating a better utilization of assets however the overall performance is still under still below than the sector average because of a poor roce the overall performance is bad right so i'm just i'm just uh, finishing the pbt okay just i'm just calculating the pbt the pbt will be 3300 minus 800 right 3300 minus 800 it is 2500 pbt is 2500 tax uh, they were telling that tax is 20 percent so tax i'm putting 20 percent uh, 20 percent of 2500 means 250 250 500 so profit for the year is 2000 right 2000 just putting it there so we talked about performance right we talked about performance we have we had comment on the performance now we will comment on gearing because we were asked to comment on gearing we were asked to comment on gearing so we are going to make that comment on gearing archway companies given gearing ratio as a percentage of debt to equity is 0% since archway treated the loan note ready for redemption under current liability however this treatment should be changed to provide a better presentation archway is taking another loan after the redemption of this loan amounting to dollar ten thousand at a rate higher than the old rate that is eight percent compared to to four percent because earlier the rate was four percent now it is eight percent right so taking this new loan um, archway company's given ratio as a percentage uh, given given ratio as a percentage of debt equity and uh, how they treat the loan treat the loan ready for uh, redemption under the but how the treatment can be changed to provide a better presentation archway is taking a loan after redemption uh, archway is taking a another loan taking a new loan after the redemption of this loan amounting to a higher rate so taking this new loan creates a non current liability and the company's gearing ratio at what was the company's gearing ratio 
65 percent 30 percent 65 percent is more than double the sector average of 30 percent mm -hmm. then 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 uh, interest cover let us just quickly calculate the interest cover of archway uh, pbit divided by interest charge right pbit is 3300 divided by interest charge is 800 four times archways interest cover ratio at four times pbit 3300 divided by 800 right yeah also appears to be low and what was the loan rate the loan rate of 8% is it higher than the ROC or is it uh, what was the ROC 13% right the loan rate of 8% is still below the ROCE earned by archway and uh, because of this we can assume that archway don't have any gearing issues as of now so even though archway is taking lots of debt they don't have gearing issues or 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 still you can write they have gearing issues it is up to you it is your answer it is basically your answer or maybe you can uh, write the uh, write like uh, 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 now however situations can worsen in the future so that is also possible and i guess uh, you we, we 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 forgot to comment about the sales per square meter it is low right it is low when compared to the sector average and maybe because uh, we are losing that five percent of the revenue that is that also we can just write we can write here uh, the sales per square meter is also below the sector average and uh, it is getting further below because of the loss of 5% sales from the what arrangement was that sales from the uh, branding arrangement so we comment about the gearing and we comment about the performance right now finally we should give conclusion and advice conclusion and advice should archway purchase landing so time's up right but i guess we had put uh, we had put 40 minutes right we had put 40 minutes actually we can take 45 right no issues so that is a minimum which we had discussed earlier 45 minutes so i'm just putting five five more minutes Conclusion and advice. Purchasing landing on the basis of given ratios. Okay, what will we what what can we write there? What can we write there? Uh,
purchasing archway on the basis of given results might seem a better decision however after considering the adjusted results landing should make a taro investigation on whether to purchase archway or not right uh i guess it all depends upon how much amount landing is willing to how much amount by it is it is all depends upon how much by by how much amount can landing purchase archway so let us assume that the purchase consideration is the value of intrinsic if the purchase consideration is taken as a as the amount of net asset we know the net asset amount is 25300 right assume we are give, we are planning to give landing 25300 then the return on investment generated by landing is i guess roi return on investment is profit divided by investment the profit for the year we had already calculated here it is 2000 right the profit for the year is 2000 and assume we are going to purchase uh, we are going to purchase archway by giving the value of net asset 23500 into 100 it is 8.5% Net asset is twenty five three hundred, right? Net asset, yeah. It is eight point five percent. It is eight point five percent. Is low, right? Because sector ROC itself is eight eighteen percent. So maybe that is low, uh, which might appear to be low. The return, the return is very low, which might appear to be low. so landing should not be prepared to pay an amount higher than 23300 because if you are paying 23300 it is still uh, not a very good investment so if you are planning to purchase archway by spending more than 23500 then it might be a bad bad choice uh in the future if archway uh, if landing feels that archway's sales can be increased by making a new branding arrangement and uh, because of the synergy of working together archways future results might become might improve right because if uh, archway feels that see why is the why is you should you should always see why is the given roc why is the adjusted results lower than the given results this is because we had removed certain transactions right so our 5 minutes is also up i guess we will take two more additional minutes in order to finish it off because i i was explaining so you have come to know that ratio interpretation requires minimum 45 minutes so don't lose time in section a section b and section c question 1 this question requires minimum 45 minutes so what what, what were we discussing 
it's okay our actuates adjusted results were low then the given results because we had removed certain benefits but these benefits uh, even landing can uh, generate more sales for archway in the future by making a new arrangement or by finding out a new supplier who will offer more discount etc right so there is always a chance for future improvement and if archway feels that sorry if landing feels that archway's results can be improved in the future then they can maybe purchase archway might improve uh, so in the future if landing feels that archways sales can be increased by making a new branding arrangement finding a potential supplier who offers more discount and because of the synergy of working together archways future results might improve in such a case acquiring archway by paying a moderately low purchase consideration might appear worthwhile clear that's it that's it we had done the we are done we are done done so that is how you do the time management now these things we had already discussed during our revision class how you should approach the exam i just uh, i just wanted you to see how it is done in the real environment so that is how you do all right so do these question papers you should practice from the practice platform practice platform see these ratios when you are reading the question from your paper the kit it might be easy but uh, doing it in the practice platform is a bit difficult so you'll have to practice more and more do more practice do more practice more and more practice do maximum questions okay all right so thank you all the best thanks a lot